Welcome back to Resident Evil 2. Okay, so when we last left off, we had located the Unicorn Medallion, and now we're just going to make our way over here through a spade door that we had opened a little earlier because we do have the combination for this safe. Is it a memo here? Let's see. Internal memo? No. Yes. Left 9, right 15, left 7. Let's crack this bad boy open and see what we've got, if anything. 15. 7. What have you got for me? Ah, a hip bag. So what the hip bag is going to do is it's going to extend or expand my inventory by two slots. Beautiful. So the more of these you find, obviously, the more, well, the more items you can carry. Let's get back to work. We have a few other things to do here, tracking down our next medallion, which is the mermaid medallion. So let's just see, we're in the west office. We can come back this way, like so, out the other side, and check on Marvin. Marvin, our buddy, our pal. And from here, I'm just gonna quickly save up, drop off any items, anything like that you need to do. This is the time to do it. And we're gonna turn and burn here now. So let's see, I'm gonna go down past reception, around here, in through the operations room, and grab this chained door. I still have that tool from the last episode, the last video, uh, when we went after the unicorn medallion, I still have that chain cutting tool. And this is the only other door I can find in the map that I've previously challenged that is locked, that is locked by means of a chain. So I figure if I'm gonna use it, I might as well use it now, figure out what's in there. Oh, watch those little dudes there, they can hurt you. Um, figure out what it's all about and then if, oh, oh, if it truly is the last door, then I can drop the tool and free up another slot. Just having a quick look around here. I do remember there was some reading material here to my right. I missed last time. Let's have a look, a record of events. Very exciting stuff. Have a read of that in your own leisure. So here's the door. So let's get the cutting tool on it. That's a very satisfying um, feeling to get that done. Alrighty, we have access to a new room. Now, this bad boy here, the electronic gadget, as it's called, with an arm button, we're gonna need this to get our mermaid medallion. We're gonna need it, and we're gonna need the battery. So let's combine the two. Ho ho ho, we have a detonator. Oh, that's what you wanna see. We have a detonator. All right, anything else in the room while we're here? Locker room, C-A-P. So the locker room, the locker from what I remember was in the shower uh, room. Shower slash locker room, we've, we've gone through there, I think it's up the floor. And we know there's a locker there that has a combination lock. So I can assume it's CAP. So there's another lock door we can't get through. There is still a door in this area, but I'm gonna exit out here real quick, just to let that zombie settle. And then once the zombie's settled, I'm gonna flip back. Seems pretty calm there now pick up this grenade, and I just want to check the door and challenge it. So I know what I'm dealing with. Looks like I'm dealing with a heart door, so I need the heart key for that, okay? Let's grab that. At least I know it's there now, and it's marked on my map, so I'll know next time. So, CAP. That's got to be the code for the locker, right? Well, let's make our way there. So straight through here, we want to head up to the stairwell. From here, yeah, okay, cool. So we can come around there by that safety deposit room. Stairwell just here, so up we go. And it should be over here, if I'm not mistaken. Bingo. All right, so the locker was over here on the right. And the board said C-A-P, so C, no, C, A, there, P. Bingo. All right, making some progress now. What do we have inside? Shotgun shells. All right, it's not exactly 
the best surprise, but um, I'll certainly take it. So I've just come through the other side here, and I'm going to head down through the lounge and into the library. There's the route if you want to follow. The corridor is empty if you've been following my guide so far. Otherwise, caution, there can be liquors there. Then we're going to head up this ladder. And where we're going here is we're revisiting this west storage room. And then we're just going to go to the bottom of it in a moment. And that's our target. That's where we're bringing the detonator. So I'm just clearing the room as best I can. Well, as best I can. I want to be thorough now. The first time I came through in this tutorial, this walkthrough, I was aware of the detonator requirement, so we didn't go explore the room at that point. Now, I have time. All right, so when you're ready, when you're ready, ready, like really ready, I'm gonna pop the detonator here on the already placed C4. You didn't place it there, someone else did. There's a memo explaining who did and why, if you wanna have a read of it, in this room. Now, I'm not sure how far, if any, distance you have to get, but I've decided here is a reasonable distance. There we go. That's kind of taken care of itself, it seems. Just making sure it didn't stir anything. There's a door here that's blocked off, so I'm going to have to investigate that in a moment, but for now it doesn't look like I've set off anything, no zombies, no stuff like that. Here's the memo if you want to have a read of it. Uh, that's some guy scribblings explaining exactly why that was there. And yes, we got another hip pouch. That's another two slots in our inventory. What a fantastic world. This guy I'm a little nervous about. He's well placed. You gotta love it. You just gotta love it. Back around here now. So there's the statue on the other side. And that's what we've done. And that's why we've done what we've done. So we can sort of pop in here. Here's <laughs> a... This is a scary spot. Did I do that? I like to think not. Unless they were zombies, in which case, I did that. All right, so there's the medallion right there. It's looking great. So we're just gonna come around here and do the final piece of our puzzle. So let's grab the notebook again. Position here. So it was the officer's notebook. So it's like a lady, a bow, and some sort of a snake. And these are a little charred, but we can still make it out roughly. There's the lady. I'm assuming that's the bow. Now we're kind of going to look at our best guess for a snake here. I don't think it's that. It's supposed to be the bow. It's like a ram. So we're going to go with that. And bingo. Works itself out. We have the medallion, the mermaid medallion, the maiden medallion, the final medallion. And now we need to go and activate the goddess statue. Cool. So to get there, I'm going to go here, through this door, through the library, down the stairs, and I'm going to exit down in the main hallway. So here, down the stairs, or we can take the ladder. Through down to the main hallway. Oh, hello. Oh, it's our buddy, our pal. We're, he, we're not taking a bite from him. Have a flash grenade. All right, flip to the shotgun. Oh, that was beautiful. He's just in a frenzy right now. He can't see us. So he's gone to take evasive action. Coming down to my right. The zombie over there as well. He's made his move. That must be to do the drop from the ceiling. He's not my concern though. I'm just a little worried that liquors maybe travel in pairs. So I'm just keeping an eye out. Ooh, that one shot was beautiful, by the way. If I do say so myself, which I do. Okay, let's move. Yep, nothing else there. Let's move this obstacle, for lack of a better word. I guess it is an obstacle. So all in all, I did a great job. This uh, shelf and uh, through the door, this will be the library. Now, we can drop down these stairs, or you could choose the ladder. It's your choice, and go down through that door with the exit sign. And that, of course, is going to bring us back to the main hallway. 
where we can drop off the last remaining medallion. So it's the mermaid medallion, or the maiden medallion. I get confused between the two resis. All right, out here again, I absolutely love this hallway, this corridor, this everything. It's just a fantastic location. It always gives me that sense of safety. So Marvin's not looking bad for wear, but let's pop this bad boy in. Right, and we've done it guys we've done it that's where we're headed next down the stairs there to the elevator and god knows what awaits us if you like the video hit that like button and like the video if you're not subscribed consider a subscription and until next time take it easy all the best